Hi everyone! In this video I am showing you how to make a delicious jiggly panna cotta with blueberries. Start by hydrating two gelatin sheets in cold water and set the bowl aside for now. In my double bottom pot I have 150 ml of full fat milk and to that I am adding 50 grams of erythritol and then a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. Heat it gently, stirring at all times to avoid it sticking to the pot and when you notice bubbles on the surface, remove it from the heat. Let the milk sit for 5 minutes and then add the hydrated gelatin sheets. Stir a little to dissolve the gelatin and then add 250 ml of cold whipping cream. Mix again and then pour the panna cotta into your serving glasses. Adding the whipping cream cold ensures that you can refrigerate the panna cotta immediately, thus winning valuable time. Keep the glasses in the fridge for 3 hours to give the panna cotta time to set. To make that wonderful jelly-like blueberry sauce, I am heating 100 grams of fresh blueberries with 20 grams of erythritol on a small flame. Keep the blueberries moving at all times and you'll notice they start popping. Cook the blueberries for about 10 minutes until fully liquefied. After that, it won't be long until the mixture starts to thicken. Remove it from the heat and strain it. This way you can separate the skins and the seeds from the pulp. And you're left with that beautiful jelly-like blueberry sauce. As it cools down to room temperature it thickens even more. Then spoon the jelly on the surface of the panna cotta and spread it in an even layer. Put some fresh blueberries on top and return the glasses to the fridge for another hour. And right before serving, decorate the panna cotta desserts with some fresh mint leaves. It's a wonderfully smooth, creamy and delicate dessert. But it's all about that jiggle. Enjoy! If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Until next time, dessert of us.